Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to make this amazing short rib pappardelle. This amazing recipe is absolutely delicious. It's perfect for Mother's Day. But before I show you guys how it's done, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Also, if you enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, family, here's what you need to make this recipe. I know there's a lot of ingredients here, but don't worry. I will make sure to leave it down below for you guys in the description box. So first thing first, we'll start marinating our short ribs. I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil to it. Then we're going to season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. All right, now that our short ribs are nice and seasoned, we're going to sear them. To my Dutch pot, I am going to drizzle about two to three tablespoons of olive oil on there. Once that is nice and hot, we're going to place our short ribs on there. Once one side is nice and golden brown, you're going to flip it over, allow the other side to be nice and golden brown. All right, now I have both sides nice and seared. I am going to remove the short rib, set it aside. Moving on, I am going to add about four or two tablespoons of unsalted butter in there. Once that is nice and melted, I am going to pour in my onions. Once I have the onion nice and translucent, I am going right in with the minced garlic. Now it's time for me to add my flour. I am going to pour in the flour. You are going to cook the flour for about 30 to 60 seconds just to cook the raw flour taste. The flour is what's going to help your gravy get nice and thick. And next I'm going in with my beef broth. And as I'm pouring the beef broth, I am going to stir it at the same time so I don't have any lumps. All right, now we're going to season this gravy. First thing first, I am going to pour in my red wine vinegar. Next, I'm going to add some tomato sauce. You can add some tomato paste as well. Make sure to fry it. And also, I am going to add some sriracha sauce just for some kick. And also, I am going to be pouring in, what are we adding next? Let's see, some brown sugar to just balance the heat from the sriracha, sriracha sauce. And I'm also going in with low sodium soy sauce as well as some Worcestershire sauce. Give that a stir just like that. 
Then you're going to take your short ribs and place them right in there. I like to flip them over where the meat is mostly at, just to ensure the meat is cooking and nice and tender. Now I'm going to cover it and place it to a preheated oven on 350 for about one to two hours until your short ribs are nice and fork tender. Look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. It's looking gorgeous, so beautiful. I am ready to eat this ASAP, but I have to make the pasta, so let's get on to the pasta and of course you can eat this with some rice but why am i making this with pasta let me tell you guys why i went to a restaurant last weekend and they serve short ribs over pappardelle pasta i was like what it's so good i have to make my own version of it so that's why i'm showing you guys this recipe so i went ahead and boil my pasta water, you know how I do. I add some chicken bouillon to the water as well as some salt. Once that comes to a boil, we're going to add in our pappardelle pasta or pappardelle pasta. Hopefully I'm seeing this right. Don't come for me now. So <laughs> I'm going to cover it, allow it to boil for about five to seven minutes until the pasta is al dente. Now that my pasta is nice and done, I am going to drain the hot water and set it aside, moving on. Now to a skillet, I am going to melt about four tablespoons of butter. Once that is nice and melted, I am going in with about one tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to cook the garlic for about 10 seconds or until it started to fragrant. Next, I'm going to pour in my dry pepper flakes. This will give it a nice, kick and also i'm going to be adding in some fresh parsley as well now this recipe reminds me of like a shrimp skimpy type of recipe because it has almost all of the ingredients a shrimp skimpy will have except some of the ingredients not all i am going to add about one tablespoon of capers in there for some nice fresh flavor and also i went ahead and add some salt and pepper as well as a little bit of chicken bouillon i'm not sure if i show you guys that and also i'm going to pour in some lemon juice yes you guys now i'm going to give that a nice stir and pour in my cooking wine the cooking wine if you don't want to use it you can replace it for some chicken broth Next, I'm going to add in my pasta just to finalize the recipe. This is a recipe that I, I came up myself. Give it a try and let me know how you like it and what would you add and what would you, you know, subtract from it. This is my own recipe. Like I said, I saw this at a restaurant and I wanted to make my own version of it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I added some Parmesan just to add some more flavor and you guys, this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching today's recipe guys. I hope you enjoy it as always. Be sure to give it a thumbs up for me if you enjoy it. I appreciate every single one of you guys who take the time to watch me. Also subscribe if you're new here. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.